Hey, Sarah here at This Simple Life, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I am organizing my The Good and the Beautiful Science units for the upcoming school year for 2021-2022 school year. And what I have here is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I will show you the two units we are, will be doing from The Good and the Beautiful is gonna be Space Science and mammals and so i'm so super excited about this one this is going to be our very first unit to start with <clears throat> and the video of, of all the of some of the books we will be starting with is also coming soon how we will be doing our morning basket and all of that fun stuff so if you're interested in seeing how i'm organizing these units then keep watching Okay, the way I have it is very, very simple. I just got a binder. I don't remember if it's a one and a half inch binder. I think it's about a one and a half inch binder, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's a two inch binder. I think it's just one and a half inches is what it appears to me to look like. But anyway, it was plenty of space to do the mammals unit and I just stuck this in the very front of it. And then inside I just hole punched everything and I hole punched the um actually I didn't hole punch I bought these they I believe they were already hole punched if I'm not mistaken and I there were just these little pocket folders which holds all of the vocabulary words and all of the things that we will need and I thought anything else I need I can also stick it back in there then we turn to the mammal supplies needed. That way I don't know if I'm going to be like buying this all ahead of time or if I just need to do like one or two weeks at a time. Of course, these will all be optional. I don't know that we will do all of these, but I thought this would be kind of fun to do this as a device to play a video, which would be like your phone or a tablet or a computer, a piece of fruit or vegetable or an image of it, pretty easy, a piece of meat or an image, a whiteboard, and dry erase marker. We basically have all this stuff already. So pretty much easy and done for lesson one. And then these are some optional activities like milking a cow, bursting milk. I thought this one would be kind of fun for the kids. I think they would probably enjoy this. First I was like, um, do I like have to go find a cow to milk? But it looked pretty, pretty simple. So you just have to get a rubber glove and then I realized why you have to do all things. So pretty self-explanatory this is the other supplies it's real nice it's all laid out for you so you can do it ahead of time or you can do it as you go so pretty simple then we have just oh yeah then I just have some unit information I just thought this would be kind of nice to look over like a couple of days before we start I mean I'm totally relaxed about this this year and then I, there's the optional read aloud pack. And I thought that I could just keep these in mind even though we don't have these books when I go to the library, which I will be doing right before we start school. And grade seven through eight extension information. I thought that would be neat for me to scan through, read it, I just kind of just get ready. Then we have the very first lesson, which is lesson one, introduction to mammals. And there are like pictures throughout some of them I have pulled out and I will show you those in another video. So this is basically just my organization of how I did it. And of course you have to hole punch all of the papers. It comes not hole punched and I just, there has been times that I have taken them to the office supply store, like Office Max or something like that. And I have um, did a like a spiral bound, but this time I just decided this was easier and just it just was easy and um, nice because I was actually at Target and they had the binders and I grabbed them. So this is Space Science because I did the same thing. I just slipped the paper in here. I thought it was very, very pretty. I love that it comes with that. Then, oh, and also I thought that it would be really, really nice. That way I didn't have to like pick through and see what we would need out of it or I just thought it would be nice. That way I can just pop it out in case we need any of this. So of course I did the same thing. Vocabulary words are all in here. The supplies needed. The very first thing is Milky Way bars. 
and standard dice. So pretty simple for the first lesson. Then the unit information, the lesson extensions, is how I chose to put these first. So I could kind of look around and I could also grab some books from the library if I wanted to that are kind of correlate with those kind of things. And then we have introduction to space, which we will not be doing this lesson until after Christmas. So there you have it. Just very, very simple. And of course I will pull out some of these pictures to hang up in our school room as well, in our school dining room, which I'm going to show you our organization and how I keep all of our school supplies in a video coming very, very soon because y'all, I'm down to the wire. We are fixing to start our year, but I pretty much have everything organized. I'm so super excited. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of my little YouTube family. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.